Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more EU4 with Northern Line and Mathis. Yay! Hello. Without, yeah, without further ado, let's just go. Why? I agree. Why wait? Why exactly. Wait? Mathis has ships now. Yay! Ships that I haven't built any yet, though. You should. I'm serious. You guys should go conquer the Maya. The Maya are my friends right now. Okay. Oh come on. Just saying. Just. What's your relationship with them? Like a hundred. Well, okay, that's like really good, actually. Yeah, we can mm. afford that. So let's see. I, I think I'm going to move my merchant. Where to? Power. To the Hudson Bay. Or uh, not to the Hudson Bay, to the Mississippi River. Mississippi River? Southwest. It's... Ah, uh, uh, I can't see it. It's in the water. You should be able to see it. Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, There we go. I do see it. Oh, no. I'm negative prestige right now. Why? I'm trying to steer it in the direction I want it to go. You have uh, prestige decay. So if you don't like do anything, you just lose prestige annually, gotcha. usually. Mm. See, this is the second time. If you, oh, here, I'm going to show you this. Look at the um, Gulf of Mexico, southwest of us. Okay. I, I think this is the second time that it's happened where... Notice how the trade arrows coming out of that trade node are so closely together. There's yeah. one that goes southeast, one that goes northeast. Mm -hmm. But it's actually two that go northeast. Oh, yeah, and then they come oh, up to Massachusetts Bay. Yeah, oh. except that you can't actually control which direction you steer uh. because they're so <laughs> close you can't click on one. It's oh, that's weird. Hmm. Currently steering towards Chesapeake Bay. I don't want to steer towards Chesapeake Bay. I want to steer it towards the Gulf of, a of uh, St. Lawrence. But uh, maybe there's a different way I could do it. Too bad. This is our node, scrub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beat it. Okay. All right. Mm, Whoa. A call to arms. What's this? Oh, I thought the power had sound. We're not with you anymore. What are you talking about? Oh, Lisa, the, you, you were What's going on? You the nation of Abenaki is requesting you come to their aid in the Micmac conquest of Cahokia <laughs> against Micmac. Mattis, what have wait, you done, man? Wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out, time out. I thought you said the power Hatan were no longer being, like, taken by, care of by you. I thought you said you clicked something and it got all fucked up. I stopped annexing them. They're still my vassal. You just... Oh, you just, fuck. <laughs> God and then damn it. I, I was forced to declare war on I you. Misunderstood. I misunderstood. Wanna... I don't want to lose 25 prestige <laughs> All right, well, just because of your misclick. I misunderstood. Fuck me. Um, let's Mattis, see. What have white you done? piece? White piece. Okay, white piece, that... yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, where's white piece? It's in a, in a dramatic like misunderstanding, it'll show uh, the I, Exactly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> how do I, how the fuck do I white piece this shit? If you just click clear offer, then the war score will be at zero, or like the, the right, war I'm sending a demand demands. of nothing, I guess? Are you sending it? Who's the war leader? Is it a Roomba or? Yeah. Okay. okay. We there pieced we out. Ha, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> you just... should have asked him for some ducats. <laughs> uh, Why did you, did you take a mission to attack them or something? Yeah, I did. I took a mission to wipe them. Oh, them. yeah. Oh, that's pretty funny. You got off a lot easier than I did, Mathis, when I made that mistake in CK2. <laughs> We're playing a little bit friendlier with each other right now. That's why. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't seem fair to me, if you ask me. <laughs> Uh. So when are you guys gonna take over the Maya, huh? Who's you know, Huron? Like Huron offers us an alliance. Who's Huron? Where are they? Uh, they're in the northern continent. Huron. Next, next to Arumba. They're no, like, oh good. fuck. No, yeah, no. They're like, help, help. <laughs> no. <laughs> Huron added toward towards the Mohe Mohicans. Friendly. Okay, sure. I mean, we've never talked to one another. We, <laughs> by all accounts, shouldn't know that we exist. Uh, but sure. Friendly. You broke off your alliance with us too. <laughs> I did. Yeah, uh, we're no longer allies. Arumba, now's our chance. Yeah, now we should totally chance. attack you. You, you. We cannot ally with Micmac as we need to have a positive opinion of them. Are you oh. serious? Well, yeah, it's a <clears throat> negative six. Oh, you should, uh, well, I have diplomats. I'll just improve my relations with him. I'll he, just needs, send off he needs to improve relations with you. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Diplomacy. Uh. I could just rival you, and then we could just... <laughs> Here, have a diplomat. Uh, I'm serious, you guys. Here, have a diplomat. 
We should take over the Maya. I'm busy right now, sir. Where, Look, where, I, are, where are the Maya? They're, they're really far away. No, you just use your boats. Go across uh, Tampico Bay. Don't you have boats yet? I don't have boats, but I will, I will in uh, ooh, <laughs> uh, 700 months. 700? <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> it's quite a 70 few. months. 700 months. 70 no, sounds a little, bit, a little bit better. Yeah. Actually, it's more like 90 months. Actually, it's more like 120 months. 10 years. So you guys should get a head start, and I'll join you as the as the war progresses. Oh, good. I'm going to take that silence as a, an implicit uh, acceptance. No, Mathis is me all, all befuddled because of him attacking me. So <laughs> It's over. Don't worry about it. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to get this stupid thing to actually steer in the direction I want. Sounds like really hard. Right, I have a positive opinion of you guys. Do you have a positive one of me yet? I have a positive opinion of you, Mathis. We should be allies. Or are we talking about the game? Because, oh, uh, mm. sir, I'll, I'll offer an alliance to you. I would okay. appreciate. It. There I, you go. I accept your alliance. All right, we're all good now. This is just a misunderstanding. I'm so sorry. Happens to the best of us sometimes. Yep. I so saw. I actually accidentally got it to work, and now I'm sending it in the right direction. That's still nice. a really, really weird thing. Oh, Mathis, I discovered uh, the Terra Incognita that you're colonizing right now. Oh, nice. We're starting to expand here. How does the map look to you on the eastern shore? Ah, I figured it out. Every time Powhatan migrates, it resets my annexation timer. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's really dumb. So I just have to keep hoping that they stop doing it. <laughs> Stop, Stop, Stop oh, migrating. I just saw two. I just discovered two more Terra Incognita. Nice. One has a base tax of five. Wow. That is actually really good. That is eerie, apparently. No, it's actually like kind of okay. Oh, uh, true. <laughs> <laughs> I have claim. I at least have claim on Cahokia now. Oh, fucking Cahokia's um free again. I don't want Cahokia though. Can you even colonize it? I don't think so. It's too far away. Like, it's bullshit. It's far away from me because I think Minnesota is technically... It doesn't border it, even though it looks like it borders it. Yep. Yankton and Kansas kind of, like, push it out. Otherwise, I would totally be able to. Oh, well. Shit happens, I guess. <laughs> Man, just do me a favor, and, and yes. this goes for you too, Arumba. Uh, don't colonize Bungi. Bungi. Where's Bungi? It's right next to... Oglala, like to the southeast. I of can't it. even see it. So oh, okay. Well, if you find it, do me a favor, keep it open because it is my uh, mission right now. All right, it's your birthright. Well, I'm not gonna put it that way, but <laughs> this is my homeland. Fine. Stay out of there. <laughs> I really want the Inca to be on our continent. Wow, native council minus thirty three, wampum belts minus twenty. It only costs forty seven admin points for one point of stability. It's yeah, crazy. it's really cheap. It's crazy. I mean, it gets more expensive the more you boost it, but not by that much. The natives lose one ferocity, and a hundred of them join me. So I found. Oh, uh, you know what? I oh, go ahead. I found another bug. If you want to see it. Sure. So press the B button for buildings. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hover over that interface, <laughs> right? Where that, like, like somewhere in there where you'd click on a building. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Roll your mouse wheel down. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Special buildings. Yeah, you Unique can't actually buildings. you can't do any of them, but it's, it's, it's weird. So I hired an advisor just to uh, give me more diplo points so I can get boats faster. <laughs> I, uh, I, I desperately only... want them. Where, where's my advisors? Oh, my advisor must have died. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Ugh. New trade research is heretical. Lose prestige or diplo points. Why? Oh, hey, we, we totally found a uh, a border here, or like a, a nautical border. Oh, uh, did we? Where? Where's that? I don't know if you can see. Yeah, but I'm I'm colonizing Bungi. Can't see and it. I can see your border though. It's uh it's totally like sea area. Nice. It is the sea, as they All call right, it. So maybe no Inca. 
Maybe. We might be on an exceptionally small continent. But I guess we'll find out. Ugh. I hate all of my missions. <laughs> I still have my mission to remove the Powhatan from the map. I should probably Yeah, that one it. keeps popping up. Arumba, you gotta you gotta annex them just so that we can uh, get other missions than that. I've tried. This is my third time trying now. Can they're you just, just conquer them? <laughs> no, they're Yeah, vassal. just just to release them and then conquer them. Oh, but then you can't core them anyway. I see. That's yeah. Well, I actually could core them now because I've I've got my other province down there. Mm, true. You could release yours. You should do that. You should release Mahikan. Release the creek. Nah. Or whatever they were. They were Cherokee. Cherokee. Oh yeah. you oh that's sorry, you have your color was so similar to the Cherokee that I uh got confused. Um how did you stop them from migrating though? Before you do that, I wanna know. Mm, I didn't stop them. I just kept annexing <laughs> and they just accidentally didn't migrate in time or something. Hmm. <laughs> So, should I go to level 2 military tech? I guess. Yeah, I just did. I have the points. Eastern Swarm. Sure. <laughs> Why not? It's pretty offensive. It's, it's, perhaps charging blindly at the enemies is not the right way to deal with things. Well, fuck <laughs> you too, game. Like, <laughs> uh, Don't push your awesome. ideals on me. Can't tell me what to do. Exactly. Um. See, I've got I've got Powhatan at fifty five percent. That's integrated. really fast. And they're just <laughs> don't migrate. <laughs> Stay still, <laughs> please. I would like. I'm actually totally fine with just it not being cored right now. Like that has worked out okay for me so far. We don't have military access to ourselves, so. Oh, to... yeah, sure. I'll take it from you as well. Although yep. people told us that you automatically get military access. Oh. At least during war, I know for sure, but I don't know about. Mm. Do you get it all the time? Uh, I don't know. I, I just accepted his offer. I have a new chief. I don't have any diplomats, so I can't do that. What do you... Oh, you're integrating. Right. My Did new you... chief is a 3-5. Two... No, okay. Dude, Fox, I feel so bad for them. They're allied with Illinuik and Ojibwe. None of which are... Oh, Ojibwe is like on their continent, but it's on the other side of it. I don't even know where the other one is. I don't think they're going to come protect you, man. Oh, actually, never mind. <laughs> they're right next to them. I'm dumb. But how funny would it be if I was right? Be funny. Exactly. I'd laugh. I'd laugh. You got the right idea. Oh. Many long years of peace have caused disturbance, a disturbing lack of manly virtues in the common man. This could be I disastrous since far too many of the recruits uh, turn out to be cowards. I lose 3,770 manpower, Ooh. or I get bad discipline until 1502, which is minus 10% discipline. You know, we are we're approaching, or we might even be past the uh, official timeline. Uh, Exploration date, or like discovery of the new world date. It's 1492. It's true. Indeed. Yeah, where's Christopher Columbus? Exactly. And I the, bet uh, uh, Santa Maria bet, and all that stuff. My my wager was that it would be Castile in 1500. Time's running out, guys. Well, Castile would be Spain probably by now. They usually so? they usually take over. Um, what's it called? Aragon. Yep, usually. I actually even like really seen the AI play that much as Castile because I usually play as Castile because they're kind of a really easy start true <laughs> Matt, how do and you know Mattis? I don't know I don't. <laughs> that's true <laughs> I've seen people play it they yeah. have stuff to do as well you take over Granada you know colonize find a way to snag the Azores out of Portugal if possible A little bit, little bit more exciting in the early game than uh, playing as the Mahican Micmac and Abenaki. Micmac. You think it's more exciting? I, I'm curious to see. Like the next thing I would like to try is playing as colonial nations and fighting over the new world, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I like this because it shows off some of the new stuff you can do as colonial nations in Conquest of Paradise. I think it would be interesting as well. Like, because we were well, talking, we were like, we could have like Mathis maybe as Portugal or Castile. And then myself as the one that he didn't take. And then you as, like, England, maybe? 
and we could try like a new world conquest. You're not gonna try to make me play as Ireland? <laughs> well, I think that would be kind of ridiculous. Tyrconnell. Even in England, you have your hands full because you start with the Hundred Years' War. And... Yeah, but I know how to win that. <laughs> yeah, but it would take you a while. <laughs> That's true. Um, <laughs> it's it's not called the the Two Seconds War. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is if you just white peace or surrender to them. You just say, ah, screw this, we don't want to play. That's true. But you doesn't uh, or don't the English already start with like their idea is already monopolized by like economic ideas or something? Or do you have the actual option to choose colonial or expansion or uh, exploration? Pretty sure all Western texts start at level three, so they don't have any idea groups unlocked. Oh, okay, all right, my mistake. Yeah. Hmm. Well, my colony's uh, about fifty percent done here. Ah, they didn't migrate. Nice. Arumba, it seems like uh, like you might have accidentally not only lucked out because of the trade route. But it actually seems like you have the most open space over there. Could be, yeah. Because like good. I, I've basically mapped the southern part of the continent here. Mm, sure. Uh, but yeah, it looks like you're. I, I, I've lost my bearings, but it looks like you almost like approach Iceland in my mind. Greenland, at least. Mm. Yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, it's hard to say because like. Well, find we, out, yeah. We, we're North America. I'm pretty sure there's yeah. still a South America. I don't know where it is, yeah. but I, I'm pretty sure that there is one. So, where is it? Maybe the, the continent that the Maya are on is, like, really huge. Could be. You know, you guys... Oh, I guess you can't because you don't have ad, uh, explorers. Never mind. Yeah, can't do that for a while. Hmm. Oh, Sweet. well. My colonies are growing oh. really quick right now. I don't know about you guys. I'm actually... Yeah, it's going okay. I'm also 60% now into annexing Ottawa, which will give me a core on that map, which will let me start colonizing up there. Did they migrate again? Yeah, they're way at the top of the map. I don't know. <laughs> can, you, can you see them? Yeah, I see Ottawa. Yeah, yeah. That's about as high as it gets. Mm -hmm. They're kind of crazy. It's like northwestern Greenland. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, shit. We have lost the effects of trading in tobacco. What? National spy defense, plus 25. I don't understand what happened there. I'm making something? four gold a month now from trade. I blame Arumba. Four gold a month just from trade? Yeah, 4.12. I don't like that very much. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm the only one collecting from trade, so... I got uh, 0.9 from trade right now. Yeah, I get 0.7. But I'm about to own the... Area, oh, uh, the area with the Chesapeake Bay, so hopefully that'll help. I still can't, I haven't discovered the Chesapeake Bay. What's the province that has the Chesapeake Bay? Oh, uh, it's the one that I can't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it, Mathis. <laughs> don't, don't matter me. There should be like a civilization uh, diplomacy mode. Or not diplomacy mode, but d d diplomacy option where you could like exchange your maps of the known world. Oh, I can't actually do like I own the the territory with it, but I can't actually do anything with the trade if I own the territory, which is unfortunate. Well, generally, the you'll get some trade power. Like some of those provinces might even be like a important center of trade, it gives you increased trade power. Gotcha. It's kind of the same thing as a river estuary. Yeah, that's what I always say. Exactly. It's kind of the same thing as an estuary. <laughs> kind of my catchphrase. You can ask people in the comments. They'll, they'll tell you. I've heard you say it all the, so often, yeah. So people, I get messages on Reddit and Twitter. They're like, can you stop saying that? It's getting kind of pandering, <laughs> honestly. Of course. Of course that's what they say. I believe you. <laughs> I'm so totally gullible. Shh, shh, shh. I'm not trying to trick you. I'm trying to trick the <laughs> commenters. Mm -hmm. Naturally. Pokumtuk. I have the mission to turn it into a city, which increases your tax rate there. And this is going to be a really good city. It's an estuary. I think it had like four or five base tax. It's pretty sick. Is it on our continent? Yeah, it's way to the north. I doubt you can see it. Nah, I can't. I can kind of see, like, if I zoom out a little bit, the graph paper gets a little weird. And I can kind of make out, like, some curved borders. Mm -hmm. And you can also see, but like, little things poking through, which are usually ships and trade nodes and stuff. It's weird. Okay. Yeah, that's unusual. A little strange. 
Okay, 91% towards annexing Ottawa. That's good. Wipe them out. It's not like they're the capital of the country where I live in the official timeline or anything. No big deal. Nope. Looks like we're going to have to wait till the next video for that. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. We look forward to seeing you same time, same place tomorrow. Make sure that you do like and uh, make a comment on the video if you'd like to support us. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again Bye -bye. soon. See ya. Bye.